is to grow up in a world of country music. Some people call it country and put it in a special bin. But where I'm from, it's just the music we listen to. The sound of the land and the people. You hear it in the crickets and the wind and the trees, in our churches and in the chugging of a freight train. It's our nation's voice. The history of that sound began with the recordings of the Carter family. In Walk the Line, I got the chance to play June Carter, a great artist in her own right. June grew up fast. She was a celebrity before she was 10 years old and a mom in her 20s. So maybe that's why she was strong enough to help stop the man she loved from self-destruction. I'm a great fan of June Carter, but her greatest admirer is Johnny Cash. Nobody ever walked the line like Johnny Cash. He walked the line between rock and country, patriot and punk, sin and salvation between what had been and what was to be. He sang his songs for convicts and kings and saw the nobility and humanity in both. Johnny Cash crossed all boundaries and spoke to people of every age. In his time, a man in black knew darkness and light. He knew what it meant to love God and raise hell. Tonight, we gather to hear the songs of Johnny Cash and his beloved wife, June Carter Cash. By passing along their music and their story of love and redemption, we hope to honor them and the line they walk together. The rock and roll's founding fathers who made their names at Sun Records in Memphis are gone now. Elvis Presley, Carl Perkins, and the fabulous Johnny Cash. But their music lives on. Passed in 2004, U2's Bono said this of him. Every man could relate to him, but nobody could be him. To be that extraordinary and that ordinary was his real gift. You two knew and loved Johnny Cash and wanted to be here with us tonight.